Hey guys, this is Officer 6, also known as the Shadow Man 26, and I'm just making a video about the uh, Call of Duty world premiere. Well, basically, the countdown has now finished. Um, I was going to film a video, actually, I was filming a video of, of the countdown with the last 100 seconds, but unfortunately, nothing happened. So I'm kind of disappointed by that, um, but this is just a video I'm making afterwards. I'm um, sorry about that clicking just then. Um, so, obviously Treyarch has given us little images in the video, um, you know, as hints and revealing some stuff, or to try and make us guess. So, I'm just going to talk about them and what I think of them, and my opinion and all that stuff. So, to start off with, we, um, well actually no, sorry, in Australia, I'm in Australia, and so it's like 8.13pm now, and the World Review starts. Uh, well, the countdown's finished at like 7, pretty much at 7 o'clock, uh, Australian time, 7 p.m. Um, anyway, but yeah, nothing happened. So, talking about this, so first of all we have the um, the quad rotor video from a SP FPS Russia. Um, I, I think, I thought this video was awesome. Seeing this quad rotor thing like flying and shooting the people is just is it's awesome, and um, it's FPS Russia. He blows shit up and it's funny, and well, not really funny. It's awesome. It looks sick. Anyway, so um, if you haven't seen that, then you should see that, and then that links with the photo of uh, the quad rotor and the plane in the sky, which I'm guessing is a stealth bomber. Um, it yeah, I'm guessing it's a stealth bomber. Pretty sure, and then it has the quad rotor, um, one of the quad rotor rings, wings, can't speak, um, in the corner. And um, so, this basically, I'm guessing this image confirms that the quad rotor is going to be in the game, which is pretty sick. Also, the this image, it looks like it's from the campaign because it has like a like speck of dirt and stuff on it, so it kind of looks like a little cinematic thing, like in the campaign somewhere. Um, yeah, but it could be a, a screenshot from multiplayer, just to, uh, yeah, give us a bit of a hint. Um, and so today, well, f kind of yesterday, but today, um, we've got the image of, uh, the pipes and building kind of thing. It's, this one's hard to tell what it is. It's just, like, pipe kind of things with a structure in the background. Um, I don't really know what this is. I'm I'm pretty sure it's a, I'm guessing it's going to be a map from the multiplayer, just like a tiny little bit of it, and basically it's just like making us think what it's going to be, but it's pretty much impossible to guess because it's just such a small image of probably what the whole thing is, but it's pretty interesting. <laughs> At first I thought it was a sniper, but uh, it's obviously not a sniper because it's got like structural stuff on the attached to the pipe, but um, yeah, I I think this could be kind of like a map from, um, from Black Ops, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, the one where the rocket takes off, I forget the name of it, but um, a map kind of like that, like, it has a tall building, a tall structure in it, um, and it has all these pipe works, and you might even be able to go on this pipe work, on the, on the pipes or something, um, I don't think it's a, anything to do with zombies, uh, I'm guessing it's not dark enough, but um, and today, we have um, a new image of the guy sitting in a chair, and there's something around his wrist, and I'm not sure if this is just like a watch or something, but it could be like he's actually strapped in a chair, and he can't actually get out, so maybe it might be the main character, and he's strapped in a chair, and he can't um, get out. Um, it could be a, a general, or a colonel, or like a port, an important guy, and... Um, yeah, he's sitting in his chair and he's pointing to someone or he's talking to someone. If you also notice, in the background, there's a frame. And what it looks like to be in the frame is, like, war medals and stuff. Like, war medals and um, photos, maybe. I don't know, but I can definitely see medals or something. So, I think it could be, like, a clone or important guy. But, yeah. So I'm not sure about the wrist. It's either going to be a watch or it's he's strapped in. But 
I mean, it doesn't look like he's strapped in. I don't think they would do that after um, Black Ops kind of thing. But it could be something in the campaign where he's strapped in or something. But yeah, tell me what you guys think it is. It hasn't actually been fully, obviously, revealed yet. But um, you get a good idea what it is exactly. They, it flashes like clear a bit every now and then. But yeah, I was so excited for the countdown to finish, and it finished, and nothing happened. It just came out with world premiere now. Also, another really interesting thing that I discovered while waiting and stuff. Um, at the top, I clicked on, like, you can select the country, so I clicked on Australia. And it's only Australia that this is actually worked for. But I clicked on Australia, and then at the very top, like at the tab, tab, like, thing, bar, instead of it saying, like, Call of Duty... It came up with teaser, and it still says it now. So I don't know. Maybe I don't get why, but it's only for Australia. It says teaser instead of Call of Duty. I don't really know what's up with that. Maybe it's because Australia is ahead of everyone else. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so we have this little bit of reveal, and oh, also <laughs> I almost forgot. Um, Takitas, um is a uh, I don't know. It's like a logo or a brand or something. And um, FPS Russia is wearing it in his video with the quad rotor. He's wearing the Katita. K -kat -kat ah, Takitas. That's how I say it. Takitas. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so um, obviously that there was another clue to the FPS Russia's video actually 100% being linked to the game because of the shirt he was wearing. Um, and yeah, and also obviously Call of Duty would have paid to uh, for him to do this and paid for the actual quad rotor and they would have made it themselves. Probably like they would have gotten them like someone to make it for them for FPS Russia to show off. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. And um, anyway, so tell me what you guys thoughts are on all this stuff, what you think the photo is that you can't, we can't fully see yet, um, tell me if you don't agree with the stuff I'm saying about like the quad rotor picture with the self bomber or all that stuff, and yeah, anyway, so I really hope the uh, world premiere video comes out or whatever the name comes out, and I'll probably make a video on that um, when it comes out, because at the moment it's just saying world premiere now and well, it has all the other stuff. But hopefully it will actually tell us the name and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's stage, it says stay tuned in for the May 1st of May. So it'll be sometime in the next 20, 24 hours. No doubt. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, this has been Opster or The Shadow Man. Um, also, my channel's name is The Shadow Man 26. I made it ages ago. It's kind of a bit of a corny, crappy name. But uh, I, wanted to, I want to change it to The Opster 606. Well, not the Ops, but Ops 66 because that's my um, Xbox Live name. That's just my, my gamer name. But um, I don't want to have to start my whole thingy again. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and comment. And uh, yeah, see ya.